It was clear that inflation is the overwhelming priority. It was clear, despite some earlier confused talk about neutral, that he was under no illusion that monetary policy was in an appropriate place right now. It was clear that whatever the academic arguments about demand shocks versus supply shocks uh, said, the Fed couldn't accept. Uh, continuing high inflation and had to act until it was clear uh, that that was uh, going away. The remarks were very concise. There wasn't a lot of uh, more academic uh, discussion, but there was a statement of uh, being uh, resolute. Uh, so I think that's just right. And I think it's also uh, good that after a number of times when the chairman spoke and markets gyrated, at least so far, markets have not gyrated in response to uh, these remarks. So I think the Fed is positioned uh, as well as it can be, given the credibility losses and mistakes that there have been. Uh, with these remarks to manage things going forward. The chair never used the word recession. At the same time, he did talk about below trend growth for an extended period of time, also elevated interest rates for a good time to come. Is he really pointing to a recession? Is he between the lines saying, get ready for it? I think he also had a reference to the fact that uh, there was going to be pain. He wasn't predicting recession, and after all, uh, even someone who's quite pessimistic about the situation, like me, is saying that there's a 75 percent chance of recession in the next two years. But he was clearly showing an awareness of the possibility, uh, indeed, possibly even the likelihood of recession. And I think that was very important, because saying you're against inflation when there's no price to, have, to resisting uh, inflation or bringing down inflation isn't a consequential statement. Today, he prioritized inflation, making clear that he recognized that that prioritization would have short-term adverse consequences that wouldn't be easy, but that by bringing down inflation, ultimately, there were going to be more jobs with higher real wages for more people. And that's, after all, what economic policy uh, is all about. It was a big change from the Jay Powell of a couple of years ago, who was speaking about the importance of maximizing employment without an awareness of the issues of sustainability um, and long-run economic uh, performance. So I was uh, quite pleased with uh, these remarks.